Tempest is a good one, tell you about that. Uh, the, the Tempest, was that your one? It was John Hirsch directed it. I was wasn't in it. it. Miles Potter was in it. Poor Miles, yeah. Poor Miles, yes. If you're still speaking to me, I, I put that poor I saw him last night. He speaks to you fondly of you. Well, he I says, put that poor guy through the torch of the damned on a He Caliban says he went, thing. Miles Potter played Caliban, Caliban, so he went through, he said, at least 10 extra fittings. Yeah. With we built it on him, scotch around. tape and and the, and the other scotch too, I think. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, but there again, one thing I did have to with John. I mean, this this was me. Was the um, the sale that um, when the audience comes, there's nothing on stage. You sit down, lights begin to come up, and you hear creaking, you know, sounds. But in the dark, from the, the orchestra loft, it's a great, huge, thirty feet of brown silk thrown over the edge. But before that happened, there were two industrial fans. Am I right? Can't remember. <laughs> um, yeah. Two industrial fans that blew that way. And um, on a good day, it filled out the belly of this silk. So you have the belly there. And there were two fishing lines from top to bottom, and two sailors. Right. And so the rings ran down those lines. Oh. So you could, you could pour this great belly. So it meant that the balcony became the, the, the bosun's part of the ship, you know, and the wheel came on with that, the steering wheel. For Wouldn't the, the balcony be behind the sail? Yeah. So how well, would the audience see through you're, the sail? You're the, you can see. Yeah. I'm the, or I'm, you're yeah. the balcony, yeah. I'm the orchestra. The, but the wheel you couldn't, and the sail some came. could, some couldn't, there's a reason right. for it. So a light behind him through the shadow of, of, of um, the, the captain onto the belly of the sail, the trap opened from below deck the actors came out from below deck in the boat. That light hit that sail as well as the monkeys with sea cloaks came up from the vons and made sea. Big, long bamboo cloaks that were low sea, high sea, high waves. And the, the waves drowned people to lose them. But on the, on the lines we crack, we crack, the wheel began to smoke. And on a given cue, the, the sail was released and this sailor ran like shit under the balcony as fast as he could. And on a good day, it used to go right under that. And on a bad day? They had to yank it. <laughs> <laughs> but I think it worked, I think, 80% of, 90, well, 85% of the time. But that was magic, like the magic table uh, in the Tempest. We had to lumber on this thundering, sodding great heavy job. I lost my battle on that because... This is the banquet in Act in 5. The yes, in the Tempest. And um, uh, with all the shapes of the, uh, the attendants, the nymphs, I just wanted to make like a human apparel, you know, with, with um, uh, you know, the tallest boy holding a shell with things in it, the nymphs with wine. So you made a, a human apparel. So when you can... And, and they could to, to drift like they're underwater, you know, with smoke coming from them. 